Hello, IFAST University. My name is Lance Goyke, and this month we're going to talk about stress, stretching, and training your most difficult clients. We had a request on this topic from Kentucky's finest Lucy Hendricks, so shout out to Lucy. Thank you. Hopefully you are all old enough to understand the beauty of seesaws. I love seesaws because they are a perfect illustration of the most important concept in training, homeostasis. So seesaws, right? You got a kid on one side, a kid on the other one, and then they just, they balance back and forth. And as one comes down, he pushes back up and then the other one comes down, right? And it's this perfect illustration of balance. These kids never stop in the middle and just float, but they stay in a safe, acceptable range. In terms of human physiology, we have an acceptable range for a bunch of different systems and processes in our body. For example, blood pH is supposed to be about 7.4, but an acceptable range is 7.35 to 7.45. So, at any given time, it might not be 7.4, but it fluctuates in that range and we're still considered healthy. So as an example, blood might get slightly acidic or more acidic from that 7.4, but we have these processes in our body known as feedback mechanisms. And what they do is they keep us within that acceptable range. This whole process is known as dynamic equilibrium. Now, I haven't been on a seesaw in a really long time. I mean, I think the last time was like three weeks ago when I went with Ty Terrell. But seesawing with Ty illustrates another important example. What happens when one kid is not playing nice with the other kid and he just leaves you up there dangling in the air? In this case, I get stuck in the air because Ty won't let me come down. I get this sense of anxiety because I don't know where I am. I don't have control of my body in space and I don't know how to deal with gravity because I don't have any interface with the ground. I lose all sense of control and Ty isn't allowing us to maintain homeostasis. Neither I nor the seesaw are in dynamic equilibrium. Now, I actually have a client who plays on the seesaw a lot with Ty, but I should mention that I mean that metaphorically, not literally or euphemistically. This client, whom I'll call Janice, is one of the most difficult clients that I've ever worked with. She is awesome, she's super intelligent, but she's really difficult to make changes with. She's always living in fear. It's like she's always wearing a weight vest, or it's like her gas tank has a leak in it. Janice is super flexible, and it causes her a lot of stress. Wait, isn't flexibility good for you? All right, the first exercise I want to show you guys is a supine three-month position breathing with band pull-down. So I'm going to have Jay pick his feet up. Yep, just like that. Now, Jay, I want you to straighten your arms out above your head. Yep, and keep them straight and pull them down so that they're about at my hand level here. Right there, perfect. Now, hold those elbows straight. Just take a breath in through your nose. Breath out through your mouth. See how much air you can get out and just keep going for me. So this is a great exercise to put at, towards the end, it'll, it'll kind of shut down their system after the workout. Great ab exercise. And one thing that I really need to focus on for these hyper flexible clients is I need to make sure that these ribs get down. So take a breath in, breath out. Some people won't get a full exhale. Keep going, keep going. Nice job. And I can feel Jay shaking. That's kind of how I know it's working. Take a breath in and relax. Okay guys, I hope you found this generalized case study helpful. I encourage you to go out there and see which of your clients fall into this hyper flexible category. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, try out some of those exercises. And then if you have those questions, bring them back to me on the Facebook group, tag me and let's have a conversation. Study up and I'll see you next month.